Now, I'm not saying that I support the first part of what I'm going to say here, but I certainly support the second part of what I'm going to say here. So, besides many on the left being happy about the prospect of there being less disinformation and less far-right-wing rhetoric by larger names, many people on the left, whom I do include myself in, enjoy smearing it in the face of right-wingers, especially Trump fans, the concept of unregulated capitalism, which we usually speak against. We find it humorous watching people call for draconian regulations whom usually speak against regulations in general. Trump fans have been ecstatic about the idea of Trump gutting regulations. Some of y'all practically cream your jeans over it. Many of you fully support unregulated capitalism until it affects you negatively. Then you're screaming bloody murder. And then you demand that we put the most strict regulations on businesses that you can put on them. Let's make it perfectly clear. Telling businesses that they're not allowed to moderate their own platforms is pretty extreme. You can declare that the concept is simple because all you're wanting to do is, is declare a, a bill of rights on social media. But simple doesn't mean easy. Simple doesn't mean it's not draconian. And simple doesn't mean it doesn't have a bunch of consequences. If you want left-wingers to agree with you about regulating social media, you could maybe meet them halfway and admit that, yes, some regulations on businesses are necessary. If you attempt to continue framing this as a First Amendment issue rather than a regulations issue, you're not going to get much support from the left. Any attempt to reframe this as anything but putting regulations on businesses will be met with people saying, hey, it's a private business, they can do what they want. Once you stop throwing tantrums and grow up and admit that yes, some regulations on businesses are a good thing, we might actually start getting somewhere. Just saying.